Now let's talk about marketing in other languages. We just talked about marketing in English to other non-English primary markets. But now let's really talk about what you probably think of when you think of international opportunities and expanding into international markets with your marketing and with your business. And that is really marketing in other languages. So you can look to expand your traffic generation to other non-English speaking countries by translating your marketing into those languages. So you can create separate brands and websites all together to target another language. That's what I recommend that you do. So let's say you have a product that sells really well. Again, info products, things like that do very, very well because you can just translate them uh, into other languages. And if it's a common problem that has a similar solution in another country, it usually translates pretty well. Dating products, fitness products, make money products, those types of things typically translate very, very easily and seamlessly uh, to other markets. So it's a way to expand your business. Again, it all comes down to what it is that you sell in your business. Um, but if you do have a product that can be translated, what you want to do is you want to set up a separate website for it, create a separate brand for it. And, you know, I've worked with a little bit of this with uh, different projects as well as different uh, people I've consulted with. And the first thing I got to say is the number one thing you need to know is it's best to hire a native language consultant if you're going to go into other languages and do this to review your marketing materials and to help you. You know, different languages have in different countries, you know, they have different keyboards that can make the different special uh, letters and uh, can use like different things that, for example, the, uh, the English keyboards don't have. Um, it's obvious, you know, like in Chinese, Japanese, those kind of markets where it's those ca Asian characters are completely different. Uh, but it's the same thing with, you know, writing things out in French or in Spanish where they have, you know, uh, the tilde and different types of things, uh, you know, the N, the Enye, different types of things that the English keyboard doesn't do. Um, so it's best to have a consultant that is actually in that other country that not only can help you set up and run ads to drive more traffic and do things in that specific language, but also to review your marketing materials. And that's important because your copy is going to be very different for different uh, countries. You know, they use different slang. They, they you know, appeal to different things. Uh, you know, there are different words like amazing and, and you know, whatever that that get more attention, you know, so you'll need to know what those words are in those other languages to add it to copy and to headlines for your marketing to still be effective. So you can try to take your core copy and your core marketing that you have that's already working, have someone translate it into another language, and then test it, you know, and see if it's going to work. And if it works, then try to improve it and make it kind of more friendly to that local country by making some, again, those cultural changes. But you definitely need a consultant uh, in another country unless you're actually from that other country to really kind of know what's going on. Don't just throw your stuff into Google Translate, set it up on a web page and set up an autoresponder and try to make sales that way. You really need some, a native speaker from that country uh, to look it over. But that's not a, a big deal. But there, of course, is a tremendous opportunity for you to grow your business by translating your marketing, your products everything you do in your business and expanding to these other language markets. So look into that.